Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Sashtopia. I hope you're all doing very well today. I have a new game for you today. Exciting. It came out a couple of weeks ago and I didn't realise until the other day and I was like oh my god I'm buying it because over a year ago I played the demo but the game that I have for you is Madison. Madison is a first person psychological horror game that delivers an immersive and terrifying experience. With the help of an instant camera, connect the human world with the beyond. Take pictures and develop them by yourself. Solve puzzles, explore your surroundings, and most importantly, survive. Without further ado, let's dive right in. I'm so excited. Where are my headphones? Okay, so here we are in Madison. Press any button to start. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, normal. Recommended visual hints, photography zones, normal, enemy, normal enemies. Infinite instant photos, auto save and hard is. No visual hints, no photography zones, harder enemies. Yeah, we're doing normal. <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay, so... Yes, I want to start the game! Play close attention, you can find hidden collectibles around the stages. Luca. Oh, this is, I'm so excited for this. I played it really late, obviously, because I joined YouTube a bit later. Um, so I played it later than everybody else did, but I'm definitely excited. And I, I imagine everyone else who played it beforehand, because it's been out a very long time, the demo, especially. So this has been in production for a very, very long time, so you're all excited. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Oh my head. Where are we? Who's at the door? Oh, that's sensitivity. Who is at the door, right? What is answer this? Me that. Answer Just me that. Just answer me that! Your own family. Your own blood. No, no. What the hell are you this, thinking? This can't be happening. What in the hell crossed your God. mind? What is that? Why is there a what leg and an arm? Just... You? You've ruined our family. What am I gonna do now? Holy shit! What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do now? I don't have items to use. What is happening? This is all so intense. Do I have a flashlight? I don't even have a flashlight. <gasps> okay. Turn it off. I don't know why we're rotating, that's really strange. I have to find the handle. I have to find the handle. Oh, this, oh my god, this is so sensitive, guys. I am so sorry. From your cousin Romeo, 626 Macklemore Street, Argentina. To John Maxwell and family. Can we not read this? That's all it says. That's all I've got on it. That's all I can read. Okay. Anything in here for me? No, I don't think so. That's the, making a funny noise. Um, what do I need to do then? We put that in our inventory. We grabbed it and put it in the inventory. We're gonna have to turn this back on. Um, just to give me a, like the little bit of light that there is down there, because otherwise I can't see anything. 
Unless I like rotate it to like this side maybe. Just so I can see what's over here. I'm not so sure. Oh yes. Oh the doorknob. can't put it on there. So, oh, the handle. The handle for this thing, maybe. Possibly. Oh, yes. Use it. Let's do this. What's in here? I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a hammer. That's all bloody. What did I use? What did I do with that? I feel like we're going to be escaping this guy who stood at the door crying his eyes out because I'm guessing we murdered somebody or he murdered somebody break it down break it down oh we're just pulling the things out okay you <laughs> are not my son Jesus Christ you are not my son Get me out of here. Come on. Maybe I can get up through Grandpa's house. Oh, does he live next to me? I gotta get out of here. I won't be able to go back. Oh, that's back. Sorry. I didn't realize. Oh, I hate these doors with how these open. I'm not very good at it. This is just chucks you in straight away, doesn't it? And I like that. Aha, okay, so I think... Oh, okay. So I think this house is in the demo. This vaguely looks familiar. So obviously that was the beginning. Um, we went through there. Um, and then... I remember these photos on the wall, so... This is... We're all locked. So I'm guessing I'm gonna have to find some kind of keys, maybe? Joys. I need to find a way out. It's locked. Before Dad notices I'm here. Yep. So we didn't have that storyline before. We didn't have the storyline of Dad coming after me. So that's pretty cool. But it just started me off in this. If you remember, if you've played it, if or if you've watched my video, or if you've watched another person's gameplay, you'll know. Um, yeah, the family holidays. So we're in our... Yeah, that grandfather clock. Can't use that. There's so many noises. Okay. What's on here? Wasn't there a door here? Mm. I don't know. Was there a door here? Can you not remember the way? Get this off. Jesus Christ. Ah! Psychological horrors, man. They are, they're trippy. Yes, I remember. I remember this. No, oh, I do remember this. Ah. What is this? Grandpa was just like Dad. Albert Maxwell, 1968. I think that's what that says, yeah. Yep, there's the creepy guy. In this creepy room. And the creepy lady. My my birthday present? How did it get here? Madison Hale killed her own family. 
Is it? And now for the weather. Do I have to take a picture of the... Oh, yeah, you have to take pictures of things, don't you? What's that noise? Is something happening there? Something's moving. Ew, shake your pictures. You're not supposed to shake them, you know. Look at my hands. My hands are all bloody as well, so I've done something. Okay, so I've not really... Hmm. I need a code. Must be broken. It must be broken. It must be broken. What am I doing? The chair's following me, look. There's something about this chair and I don't know what it is. I needed to get out of here. Can't find it. I need something here. Oh, I need to put that. Um, how do I flick through? Oh, no, maybe I think I need to put this. I should find a nail or something to hang it with. Oh, right, okay. I need to find a nail. Where the fuck do I find a nail from? So, this is very similar to the demo, but I just cannot remember what happened. Why is this happening still as well? Ah, oh, nail. Right, okay. Cool. What? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yep, hammer that in there, and then we shall get the um, oval portrait, which did something, and I think you have to take a picture of it if I remember correctly. Uh, why is it put a thing up there? Probably a hint, actually. That's probably a hint, like, put the picture up. So, um... Yep. Ooh. Oh my god. And it's pointing behind me. Okay. And there's the door. Right, what do I use on this then? Maybe I go back to that. Maybe it's locked. Oh, shit. Oh, there's a noose there now. Well, that's handy. Oh, there's a key. To the study. <gasps> right, okay. I found a key. Oh, okay. This will be the key to study. There we go. Okay. Oh, this is the other room. What the hell has Dad been doing here? Madison Hale, 43 years, old serial killer. It's like he's been Madison Hale dumped. 
Dad said he was repairing Grandpa's house, but instead he's been investigating this woman? Um, what is going on? I mean, maybe um, it's not a bad thing. Maybe he's like helping. Another key. J. Huh. Madison Hale, 43 years old, serial killer. A serial killer, Madison Hale, was shot down to death by Officer Russell, who was just testified to have found her dismembering her victims inside a well of her property. Madison agonized a few hours before she died. Even though she was shot in the stomach, the killer managed to survive a few hours. Serial killer caught and murdered. Up to four bodies might be involved. The police found mutilated body parts in her basement which looked almost ripped off from a movie scene as described. Four dismembered bodies were found in Hale's house. Apparently, four were the victims. Witchcraft or mental illness? Evidence of mental illness was found inside the 43-year-old woman Madison Hale's house, who apparently was trying to complete a sinister ritual, which might involve murdering and butchering police, uh, people. The police, dot, dot, dot. Oh my god. What's these ones say? 43 year old Satanist woman killed her own family during a witchcraft ceremony. Believe it or not, the 43 year old woman was found taking pictures of one of her. Dot, dot, dot. Madison Hale dumped her victim bodies inside a well in her basement. Serial killer was fatally shot in the stomach. Dreadful pictures of the victim's bodies were found in Hale's basement. The woman took pictures of the dead bodies after dismembering. Oh, so they, were they the. Um, were they the. Um, pictures I found? You reckon? Officer Russell testifies, as informed by police department, the officer that ended Madison's life testifies that before dying, the serial killer begged for her instant camera. The 43-year-old woman is suspected to have taken pictures of her victims once mutilated. St. Jupiter's Cathedral, the Church of Horrors. After a long history of incidents, St. Jupiter's Cathedral is all the rage once again upon a confirmation that it will hold a public wake in honour of the soul of the 43-year-old serial killer Madison Hill, who murdered a total of four people last month. The wake will be public and free, and according to the priest sayings, they will seek to illuminate Madison's soul with divine light, allowing her to peer in oops sorry, into the gates of heaven. Why? Why would you do that? Like she does not deserve to go to heaven. Honestly, these noises I'm hearing are kinda of creeping me out a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> Shit balls. Right, um Do we turn this on? Can't do nothing with it, Grand TV. Okay. So it's locked. Okay, maybe I go through this door then. Why do I open this? Ah! Ah! There we go. This house is huge. Why is there so many like different corridors and stuff? Maybe okay. A safe. Oh, a cassette. Okay. I will take that. Oh my one. Oh, is this like a My notebook? So dad's the one who took it away from me. It's empty. Okay. So I think you can just use this as a storage thing. Like maybe if you get too full then. What's this? Priest Thomas? John, I hope you find this useful. Please be careful. Remember that what we talked about. I'll get back to you as soon as possible, Priest Thomas. I know tapes are old, but I still struggle with computers. So that must be for the tape that was on the side. And there's nothing else in there. Okay. Still can't do anything with this. 
That's all right, okay. Grandpa's house. I haven't been here since he died. I don't blame you, to be honest, because, you know, whatever. This storm must have taken out the power. Oh, shit. I think Grandpa had a generator in the basement. Yay. That's just what we want. Cute couple, huh? something but why would we do that why 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 would you break your chains to the toilet is it just in case you need to poop combination right eight left something right eight left House is such a weird layout, like so weird. <sighs> and the fans make weird noises too. <laughs> okay, we know that works. That's probably gonna scare us later. Grandpa dedicated his whole life to clock making. Zoom right in to this. It might be something. Alex might. Al Albert Maxwell. Okay, so there's nothing really on there. I gotta end. find a way to open this door if I want to get out of this house. Right, okay, so that's our exit. Okay. Back. This takes us back to the kitchen. Right, okay. Oh, it's a big kitchen. Just open the cupboards a little bit. Nice. 
Christ, this house is disgusting. What is that? I might need that. Can we open the fridge? Can we look what's in the fridge? Probably a load of rotten food, if I'm honest. Just like ugh, all these bags of rubbish lying around. It's just all filthy and disgusting. Like, why do why do people make horror games so like minging? You never like really walk into a clean house, do you? It's always a house that's filthy. But I suppose if it's been abandoned for years, then you're not gonna, are you? Okay, this, this is one of it is. It's not for that one, Jupiter and Mars. This is for a different one. Okay, so there's two that I that I need to find. Then. Shall we? From the moment of first contact, it is already too late. When a demon what? attaches itself to a human, demons, it becomes a parasite of sorts. Oh, I didn't think we it were. It feeds from the host until. It devours every last part of their soul. In most instances, the demon's relentless objective is to get back to the world of the living. If you what want to break that about? link, well, I'm afraid it's no simple matter. I could speak at length about various rituals and procedures, but by far the best way is to obey. Help the demon attain that which it seeks. No. Only then will the demon leave of its own accord. I don't think that's true. Usually they enter the earthly plane through certain objects that they use as conduits between worlds. Even if you rid yourself of that object later, the demon has made the contact it needs and already walks among us. In the first stages of possession, the host human tends to withdraw from friends and family, becoming aggressive, so dad thinks... even violent. This is the result possessed? of the spiritual battle between the host and the entity, both vying for control over the mortal body. The symptoms that indicate that the possession is progressing are dizziness, nausea, and headaches. The latter of which can be so intense as to render the host unconscious for days. The dark entity manipulates its host with visual hallucinations and voices in the mind. Destroying the sanity of the host is for the purpose of making them I can't malleable, down contact with compliant. This, this is how the demon fully exerts its insidious control. Oh, and before I forget, several cases of possession saw strange behavioral patterns in nearby insects, cockroaches in particular. Oh yeah, they. My advice: steer clear of the insects. Yeah, of course you tell me to steer clear of the insects. Like. There's just no way I can't be possessed. I don't think you there are. There must too. be a mistake. Those pictures, that leg, that arm, I didn't do it. Dad thinks it was me, but I... I... Uh, 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 God. My head... Am I possessed? Uh, a door. A red door. Uh, what's happening to me? Yeah, well, I just wanna... Is this what that man was talking about? It can't be happening to me. I don't think you're possessed, dude. It's... Oh, we've wrote in my journal. Open the notebook. Could it be... the basement door? I've been down to the basement. <sighs> Looks like there's something coming out of it, like... the legs on the side, like... wrapping themselves around like spider's legs. I don't know. Right, let's see if I can use this. No, I can't use that. Why can I not use that? I've already been down here. Oh. Maybe can I? No, I can't get through there. <gasps> I can get through there. Okay. Why am I? Where am I going? To my basement? 
basement? Yes. And there's cockroaches. But it's locked. Do I have a key? No, I don't have a key. So I gotta go down here at some point then. Well, that was a waste of time. In there? Clock room. Oh, it's a clock room. Okay, so I need to get in there somehow. I need bolt cutters. I've got to find some bolt cutters from somewhere, maybe, as well. Do 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 do. We do we do we do. Creepy drawing. It Fuck was it. so nice having both houses connected. We were able to have breakfast with Grandpa every morning. That's cute. I need to take a picture there, actually, I think. So I've used a triangle key for this. I don't know why I need to use that I can't see properly. Maybe another shaped key. And I need some bolt cutters. And I don't have any. I cannot do it. Telephone? Where's the telephone? on about. I can't believe it took me that long to figure it out. I've got to kind of remember to take photos where the fucking Polaroid thing What? Are. What is this place? This is that well where they, she killed them. This is impossible. Fingers. What's what's wrong with me? Those symbols. I've seen them before. I don't know if that's gonna help, really. 
you'll see. Probably not. Right, what's this? A spade. <laughs> I think we're gonna need a spade to dig. I think... It looks like a crime scene. It is a crime scene. Right, I... Uh, these symbols, I don't know... use this. Right, um, let me have a look at this picture. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, I get it. This is maybe the well, so the, if I'm looking at it from this on, maybe it's that symbol, that symbol, and then two at the back. Okay, I'm gonna try and remember that <laughs> and see if that works. Mm-hmm. There's like a C with an arrow down. Okay, let me have a look. Let me have a look. Where are we? That one. And this is like a... Flag. I don't know if this is what is this is I'm doing this right. And this is a bum 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 where are you? Shovel, maybe. I think you broke it. Now what? What do I use instead then? Is there any more shovels around? <clears throat> I don't know what these do, these red red photos. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, so I had to cheat on this, guys. I'm sorry. I just didn't know what I was doing, and it turns out you just need to take a picture of it. But that didn't work. Maybe I need to get closer. Maybe I need to be like here. There we go. I don't know why that's done that. It's got a symbol on it. This is creepy. This is some demon. 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 <laughs> What's the word? Dynamic, demonic, demonic, Is that the word? Demonic, demonic, demonic stuff. Wait, oh wait, hang on, I need to carry on. All the way down. Okay. Right, I don't know where I'm going. The smell, the water is. This place is huge. What is this? This Another box. box is extremely rusty. Madison. I won't be able to open it easily. Well, we'll take it anyway. You know? <gasps> what was that? Is that just my imagination? Did something just fly at me? Do I need to go back here now? It wasn't there a second ago. No, you're right, it wasn't. 
Fucking radio? Russell? What the hell? I've, I'm equipping it? Hello? Why am I using this? This is crazy. get out. What is going on? Flashlight. Shit. Oh I think my I found God. The uh, uh, they, they are. That's they're, disgusting. They're all disgusting. Look at it. Legs, arms, they, they're just everywhere. I can't see Madison. I don't think she's here. Uh, I gotta get out of here. Please don't come at me. Madison? Is, is that you? Oh my god, I do not like this at all one bit. Police! Show yourself! That's in order! Something's moving. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. <gasps> what the fuck? I don't want to look. I don't want to. Ah! <sighs> Shit in hell. Don't come in any closer. Step back. Don't be so 
Why is this happening to me? I gotta get the hell out of- Grandma by now, surely. Like, how old was she in the first place? Ah! No, 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 I'm trapped. Trapped. Do I gotta take pictures? go to the attic. Where is the attic? I gotta find the attic. I gotta find it. I gotta get out of this place. Oh. Oh shit. Fucking hell. Okay. Let's go. What is going to be lurking in here for me? Why is there like sums on the wall? This is huge. I've never been here before. It also sounds very creepy. Who's doing sums on the wall though? Like that's a bit strange. What's this? Age is just a number you can add or subtract, but at the end of the day, when the time comes, you die anyways. Ha. Ah. Why does it not go the way I want it to go? I just want to like, there we go, turn it around. This, <laughs> this is so hard to control, but add or subtract is in, um,
is in uh, highlighted. Yeah. Look, there's so many. things. Can I put the solar one in this one? No. How am I supposed to get into these? I'm really unsure. You gotta get out of this place. I saw that here, look. 10 plus 35 is 43. 43. The shape of this portrait is quite strange. Oh, do we put it on here? Oh no, it's a diamond, so that one goes here. A diamond? I don't know if I pronounced that so. Thingy, literal. What's this? <gasps> Found another key. Oh, what's it say? Giovanna Maxwell, 56 years old. That's got to be my grandma. I don't know, maybe do I... No, nothing abnormal about that, right? Then maybe do I take this one? Yeah, I take this one. Five years old. Ah. Do I take a picture? I need a hexagon looking photograph that I reckon you need to be five years old I mean 43 years old May oh oh maybe that key is for grandma's room and the picture is up here in there and I have to take it maybe I don't know I'm just guessing at this point, because it's a bit, it's a little bit, um, it takes me a while, my brain doesn't work very quickly in these kinds of games, but I have a feeling. The 43 was killed by a three year old woman, a three year old woman was killed by a police, killed a police officer, the 43 by a police officer. The 43 was killed by a three year old woman, a three year old woman was killed by a police, killed a police officer. Okay. So grandma and grandpa's room. Is that my grandma? Like, is, is, is that her? Because there seems to be loads of photos of her. And I mean, the same photo as well. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Oh my god. Right, okay. <laughs> what a mess. The entrance key m should be somewhere. I don't think it's in this room though, honey. There are meds everywhere. Ooh, they were poly maybe, huh? Okay, this one. Why would he keep all this? Grandma died a long time ago. He's got a lot of questions. 
So many medications. I mean, I wouldn't keep it if I didn't need it, but hey. Save your tears. Grandma's diary? Let's read it. <clears throat> March 22nd, 1972. They say that having a diary is good for the brain. Well, we'll see how this goes for me then. March 29th, 1972. Today we went to a garage sale near the centre. I found a book of very good recipes. Johnny came back with a book too. He was very excited about it. It was a good day indeed. April the 1st, 1972. I woke up in the middle of the night again. I swear there was something stare at me, staring at me in the corner of the room. April 3rd, 1972. Today I found all my jewellery scattered all around the room and my wedding ring inside the kitchen sink. I asked Johnny what he was looking for, but he swears he didn't touch a thing. April 5th, 1972. We had to bring Johnny to our bed once again. The book we bought him was only, only causes him nightmares. We have to admit that is a little scary though. April 9th, 1972. All my jewels out of place again. I cannot find my wedding ring. Why is it not on your finger? Like, seriously. It was the cutest gift Albert ever gave me. It was the cutest gift he ever gave you. It's your fucking wedding ring. <laughs> what? But today Johnny wasn't at home. Sometimes I feel as if there was some someone else in the house watching every step I make. Albert tells me not to worry. He might think I'm starting to go crazy. April 10th, 1972. What a relief. I found the ring in John's room. Honestly, I don't know what to think. April the 11th, 1972. I didn't get any sleep last night. I could not get that stupid tale of the eyeless monster out of my head. I don't know why we bought him that shitty book. May 7th, 1972. I, have, I haven't written for a long time. These weeks I've been home. I've These weeks I've been from a doctor to another. I think that's meant to say these weeks. I've been from one doctor to another. Something is wrong with my eyes. They don't know what it is happening to them. My sight is getting blurry each day and it hurts a lot. May 22nd, 1972. God, doctor says that I've lost more than 40% of my sight in these last weeks. I find it hard to read, write, watch TV, even think of other things. My pupils are kinda erasing from my eyes. May 23rd, 1972. I'm tired of medications. Nothing seems to help. I cannot stand the pain anymore. Why is this happening to me? It's extremely hard for me to move around the house with my eyes like this. May 28th, 1972. I cannot stand the pain anymore. God help me, please. June, tw June the 2nd, 1972. I'm really scared. I know there's someone in the house, but nobody believes me. I know it's true. Even though I cannot see it, I feel the presence. There's someone living among us. June 3rd, 1972. I know there's someone in the house. I heard noises all night long. I'd swear I heard someone breathing while, tra while trying to get a glass of water. June 26th, 1972. I lost more than 80% of my sight. Doctors say they no longer see any solution. I don't want to be alone in the house anymore. I'm not safe here. June 27th, 1972. My ring is out of place again, but it doesn't matter. Nobody will be able to find it now. I just hid it underneath. Underneath what? She can't see, her writing's all squirrely. Well, we found some information. The eyeless monster, maybe it was to him, you know? Making her blind. They make so much noise. Can't look in that drawer. What is this? She, she was so sick. June 26th, 1972, Elizabeth Maxwell. Ocular depth exam, cataracts diagno diagnosis. Strange type of cataracts. Both eyeballs are turning completely white. Patient loses her sight progressively in short periods of time. Ocular damage, percentage right eye 95%, left eye 87%. We cannot define, ne neither are sure what is happening with the patient's eyes. Please continue with the medication as to, as up to date while we find a proper treatment. Next visit, July 26th, 1972. Bless her. It's quite sad really, isn't it? I 
and I reckon, I reckon something caused it. What are these things? Like films. But we're taking them. Is that another box? Or is it just a box of meds again that I've... So that was all her medication for the eyes. This looks like a secret door. Yep. How do I get in it though? So we'll just leave that there. I guess I need to find another one then, eventually. I'm not entirely sure how to get that, um... That's all. I'm not being funny, but didn't he just say that was my way out? And now that door is open. Can I escape? What? It's open now. There's definitely someone here. The fuck? <gasps> oh, you shitbag!
Is there a reason you're here, Mrs. Hmm? Is there a reason you're following me around? combination, you know where to find it. And a clock. It's gotta be that little clock, right? Maybe. This time, we thought he went mad, but he only wanted to talk to her again. Aww, he loved his wife. <sighs> 33 years old, Pasquale Maxwell. Who's that? I'm keeping that just in case. I think the combination is going to be on a clock. Joseph Abraham Leakster. I read rune cards. I read ru I read rune cards, tarot cards and connect to the past loved ones in the spirit world. Direction, clarification, guidance and outcome via tarot and runes. Contact 212-565-448-4512. So I think we need um, to find that going to do that to me, aren't you? Could it be really these things? Can I use you? I think it's going to be on his little pocket watch one. But I'm not so sure. The fucking st statue keeps moving. Why do you keep moving? Goosebumps! Like all my hairs have just gone on, the, like the edge of my on my arms. They're all stood up. What's this? Can I grab that? Why can't I not grab that? There we go. Number two. Okay. Has something happened to this? These went all over the floor earlier, were they? I would have thought it'd have been like that. But I don't understand. Becoming possessed by a wicked entity is signified by a loss of control over the body, mind, and the soul. However, that is often not enough for the entity. It hungers for more. Things get much worse for the host. In these cases, possession is just the first step of the demon's plan. It is said there are those that return to our world seeking to resolve unfinished matters from their mortal lives. The victims of these wicked possessions are subjected to a departure of sorts. An astral transportation, for lack of a better word. An astral what? These malicious beings force their hosts to, to live moments that shouldn't be possible in a different place and time, perhaps even in a different dimension altogether. It's madness. It's unclear whether these transportations occur inside the mind, or if the host is physically taken to some alternative reality. Alternative? 
alternative reality? I'm losing my mind. You're fine. You're fine. Right, so we want, um... Not you. Uh, we want you, so Mercury and Venus. Then we want... That one. gonna try it different ways. Okay. <sighs> no. Mercury is that one, so that way. That is Mars and Jupiter, so that needs rotating. And then Neptune, and, and then that one needs rotating. That should be right, surely. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. No, it's wrong, it's wrong. Does that look like the Earth? Right, that one stays in the middle. We take that one, and we put that one in there, and that one in there. There we go. And then I, oh, I need the hammer. <laughs> right, okay. Let's go back and get the hammer. Ah, and there's the hexagonal thing. See, I told you it'd be in here. Some kind of ritual. Okay. Weird. Very weird. 68 years old. tried to contact grandma with this thing? Is that blood? Yeah, probably. <sighs> Aw. Cute. I mean, you know, each to their own. If you want to go and contact your wife, go and contact your wife. Like... following me. <laughs> oh. The fuck is that? Oh. Are you serious?
Right then, I'm going to leave that here for today, guys, because I have been playing this for a couple of hours now, and I don't want to do this in one sitting. I kind of want to do it in like maybe two sittings, maybe three. Um, and I don't want to make these videos too long for you, but that is the end of part one, so I'm just going to leave it here. So far, so good. Madison has not disappointed. It's got all the creepy vibes to it. It's got some really good puzzle solving as well. Like, it's taking you, it's not too easy, if that makes sense. It's taking you a little while, well, me, a little while to, like, kind of figure out. So far, we're kind of getting the impression that I might be possessed. If you'd like to play this game for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description down below. It is available on Steam, Xbox, Nintendo, and PlayStation. If you liked today's video guys, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button for more scary games. And I'll be seeing you in part two.